Hey Blender Heads, uh, maybe you've seen this project somewhere, maybe you haven't, but uh, I just finished the mesh and I just wanted to show how complex it is. If I just uh, make this full screen, get rid of these tool panels, and tap into edit mode, you see th just this huge mess. So let's <laughs> move some stuff here just so we can see a bit better. Now you should probably know what this is. If you don't, well, maybe that's understandable. It is a machine that is over 20 years old. Let's just move these up. We have th three different sections, really. We have the main box, which is by far the most complex. You have the <laughs> entire mesh here. If you delete these edge loops in here, right where the corners are, this just goes all round and weird. So those are in there for... Uh, sharpening purposes. Let me just turn on the subsurf. I deactivated it because it just slows down. Uh, yeah, I have everything activated. So it's a fairly dense mesh. If you, whoops. If you go over here, you can see it's just a mess. But uh, I've managed to keep all my, uh, my, r my topology fairly consistent. Like in here, you still have the ability to change it and stuff. But uh, that's pretty much it. It <laughs> was very complex getting this to work. And then because I had hidden the rest of the mesh while I was working on this, I had added in these loop cuts. It just made a huge mess with the rest of it, so I just had to delete the entire middle section and just start everything over, including on the sides here. These boxes were all just full of triangles, so I just had to delete those. So it was a bit of a pain trying to get those back the way they were supposed to. But uh, now the grid, let's uh, invert the selection, hide those. Now the grid is made to fit the different pieces. You have the the control pad here, the two A and B buttons here, and the two uh, controlling buttons which are start and select. Uh, it's actually not that uncomfortable for a square remote, a square controller. It's uh, My hand fits very nicely on it. I was surprised. Of course, the last time I played on that, I was much younger, so maybe my hands were smaller. But anyway, the uh, a lot of loop cuts in here just to get all these nice and sharp. Uh, if you look at it as an entire piece, you can see the buttons are nice and rounded like they're supposed to. And you have the pad with the internal circle, nice and sharp. I plan on having some textures on these. Also some internal ridges here that are s seem to be giving me some problems. Aha! I've got a loop cut here. Uh, whoops. Ah. See, I'm making adjustments even in the videos. Because that's the thing, even though you make all these little adjustments, you can sometimes forget some. There, li that looks better. So yeah, I'm just I just finished this mesh, so I'm hoping that I can uh, get the rest of the machine, the rest of the console done. Let's bring these back down. And that's pretty much it for the, the controller. You have a very basic mesh here, which is <laughs> basically just this, with a mirror modifier which, is co which just copies it X and Y, and then you have this one which has the same thing. So yeah, that's basically it. If you want to see the rest of the machine, this is what I have so far. Not much. Like this. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. This is the actual general shape, which I've used as a reference. This is pretty much final, but uh, it doesn't rotate properly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just working on this. This is the next step. You have this plane back here, which is supposed to be the rest of the panel, because this isn't much... Uh, deeper. Too bad I can't pull up a picture. Hmm, maybe I can, just a second. Uh, let's just, there. That's good. Nice crappy picture. So right here you have this little panel, which which is what I'm working on. Then I'll have to do these. So yeah, I'm just working on this. It's pretty complex too. Like, look at this mesh is just <laughs> very dense. 
It was very fun to make, though. Kind of looks like a Lego piece. But anyway, that's it. Just wanted to do a little video. So, yeah. See you around.